Sup, sup, sup. Happy Saturday. My name is Ray for the yu gi -Oh Council, and this is a tag team duel featuring Yugi 514 Make sure to subscribe to his channel. I draw nothing in my opening play, and we are battling against Photon and something I don't know from watching the replay. I think it's like Flamewell or something. And here comes Yugi 514 with his Dark World Archfiends yet again. So, tag team dueling is probably the most fun you will have in Yu-Gi-Oh! in a long time, as long as you don't get against two Dragon Ruler decks, then it's hilarious. Because it's just four people, and it's super fun, you don't know where, you know, your friend there, or whatever is playing. And, just look at this, Yu-Gi-Oh! Final Four is getting so much plus. And I was like, why couldn't I get the plus, man? And we're like, uh-oh, here comes Quasar, and we're trying to figure out how Quasar is going to get off. And he goes to Lionheart. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar, any damage sustained is done to the opponent instead of you. I'm like, it's cool, bro. I got Dark Hole, and I'm going to set for him in my turn because I can't really do nothing. So, Photon player's turn. He's going to summon Thrasher. He's going to summon um, the Galaxy Knight. He's going to go Tachyon. Tachyon's going to attack. Excuse me for that. We're going to eat that 3,000. Mm -hmm, it's delicious. We're going to play Dark Hole Gate, gate into Snow. Um, is it Snow? Yes. Dark World Dealings into Sylvia. Sylvia bounce into Graph for Trance. Look at the silliness into another Sylvia. They're going to eat that damage. It's delicious. There goes the airplane. Am I going too far with this? Please, someone, stop me. Because that's how fast it, it, like, it reminds you of Neospark. And that's the first duel already. Whew. Here comes the second duel. We are playing against another Dark World deck. D we're on the wrong side. <laughs> Here's our side. Here's my hand. I'm going to go for Azurize turn 1, if I'm not mistaken, because, well, turn 1 Azurize is godly. So I go for that turn 1 Azurize, and I set the 3. I set the Dark Hole as bait, and I set it so Yugi Phone 4 can play it at his, you know, at his, um, his thing. Now, when you summon with that little guy, we're not lagging, then you can't attack direct. He Divine Wrath, my Azurize. I blame you, Yugi Phone 4. I blame you. But Yugi Phone 4 makes it up with all this, like, just... Takes out all the stuff, and he's going graph for. He's gonna graph for the the little dark world. Can't compete with our dark world card. And his opponent's not really gonna play have much, so gonna chalice it so it dies. Play the gate, lol. That's fine. I don't really get much. I'm just gonna MSC that face down. He's gonna chain it. I'm like, bro, I didn't even chain that. I didn't even target that one. Here comes a call of the haunted into the Azurites into a shining angel. Punch, punch. He's going to save zone. That's cool by me. I could probably just dark hole right now, but I didn't. I could save zone when it protected. And it would have been silly to do so. So, here comes the silliness. Can't attack again. So, kind of a... Uh, what the heck are you thinking, bro? So, here comes the blue eyes. And here comes the... Into the Grapha. Into the Felgrand. Now, you're going to see why Felgrand's so good. Now, Felgrand comes out of Shadow Spectres, and it can protect... Any monster on the board by removing one of his exceeds. It's obviously it's you know rank eight because we did it with blue eyes. This guy dark bribes me. That's cool. I just wanted the blue eyes in the graveyard to do that. And now I'm gonna fell grand your monster so the effect is negated. Now it does negate the effect, which is hilarious. But since it negates the effect, you can get over lead yokes for days. I suggest anyone playing blue eyes should be picking this up if it's not too expensive. If it's too expensive, don't stress it out. Wait on it. Just go with the Heretic King. And you can see right there, you can find four. Just protect it so he can go into the Heretic King and just wipe the field, and that's GG. This one is titled that because I MSC one of the cards, and the guy's like, I knew you were going to do that. I knew it. That was bait. I'm like, you still could have used it later. And I'm like, no, bro, no. You don't know what you're talking about. And I was like, okay. So this guy is playing batteries. And this is right when he says it. I was just like, oh, God, just whatever. And he's like, you mad, bro, you mad. I'm like, no, I ain't freaking mad. So Sirocco into a Stardust. That's fine. I told you could 5 and 4 to do it. You learned everything by me. I'm joking. Set the mirror for us. Have Lance, have Cole, have Chalice. Come at us, bro. And this guy's playing Heretics. Can't do none yet. So he doesn't want to overextend yet. So here comes the Blue Eyes into a Solemn Warning. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Here, have some cards of conscience with a Silver Cry. Into a blue eyes attack. Into I didn't know what that was. I just lanced it. That was instinct. I'm promising that was instinct. And I think he said again, I know you're gonna do that. I'm like, I don't care. And this guy goes into this, goes into radiant. I let him I call it radiant. I I chalice it right when it activates the effect just to mess with him. 
Just like, ha, you lost all your exceed material and Yugi Final 4 is going to take the attack in. You can have that one we could care less. We have such a nice, beautiful field here. We are being so selective on what we're going to do. Now, here's where the Heretic player starts going nuts. And he's going to use the Tempest as special, summon Red Eyes as special this. And he's going to go into attack, eat a Mirror Force, and Rage Quit. Thanks for the game, though. It was wonderful. Now, <coughs> after these two, there is a Exodia Blue Eyes. It does use Maiden, just for trolls. I will show it. You guys can, like, leave after this one duel if you don't want to see that. I'm just giving you the heads up. Because we were looking for Dragon Rulers. <laughs> we we ran into them quite a bit. I didn't want to deal with the matchup. Because without, like, without sighting and being in tag, it's a pain in the butt. And I don't want to... I just don't want to deal with it. This is against Fire Kings and something else. But look at all the Dark Wolf spam. And it's it, ridiculous levels of it. <laughs> and look at just look at Yugi 514 just doing all this, man. It's nasty. But it was so good, we did so much damage, and he goes to Felgrand for protection. And this guy was playing some weird heretic build or something like that. He set the onslaught for his teammate. That was a really good move, I won't lie. Now I could have also used Felgrand to target Maiden just to get the effect off, but I didn't want to waste Felgrand. So here I chain the Call of the Haunted on Shining Angel just to get it out of the way. Go and attack with everyone, and now I'm going to overlay. I forgot to what to Direwolf. I don't like that back row. I wasn't paying attention. I went to go get some cookies when the guy was making a move, and Yugi Final Four was telling me what he was doing. I'm not joking about that. Here comes Vulcan. I think he wanted to target Ajrais, but couldn't. And he targets Felgrand's sand. F Felgrand's going to protect itself. He's going to go another rekindling, and Lava Lull chain this time. It's going to mill one, go to the Scrap Dragon, try to pop. We're bringing Blue Eyes back for the heck of it. <laughs> but instead of targeting Blue Eyes, he targets the field. I don't even want to know why. You can find him for his turn. He's going to go over, overlay to the Heretic King, break through skill line. That's perfectly cool. Don't really care. Attack through. Attack through. Raikou, it's through battle. Felgrand can't stop it. Has to be beforehand. See, he... He always kill my stuff. Always kill my stuff, man. Always kill my stuff. Here comes Ancient Leaf at 2,000 pay into the trade-in, into the Heretic King for GG, pretty much. Can't recover at this point. At least I don't think they can. So I'm just going to set two more just to be that guy who sets tons of stuff. He's going to set a Trenthal and a Fire Dog and end his turn. Now, it didn't really even matter even if they didn't scoop. <coughs> because of the simple fact we had Lance and Felgram to protect everything. So, yeah. Like I said, here comes the Exodia plays, just so you know what you're getting into. Now, he was playing, I think this guy was playing Dragon Rulers, so we did get what we wanted to, but I don't know what a pod duality. I didn't see it till now. And I'm just going to, like, not to use these words, I'm going to touch myself for a little while. And I feel bad about it, but against Dragon Rulers, I never feel bad about it. Ancient Leaf is so busted... <coughs> And just look, look at the silliness of this. I'm just going for days on this. Like, now I'm giving all those Exodia players something to, like, be like, oh my god. This guy's playing Chain Burn, but remember, I played one day apiece, so protection. And now it's Yuki Final Four's turn. He's going to summon Cyber Valley and then just turn with three back row. This guy is playing Mecha Phantom Beast, and I actually, I actually felt bad for him. <laughs> because of all just the spam I was doing. So I pod duality. This guy's going to chain six cents. Don't really care. He milled six. Lol. <coughs> so I get trade in. I'm going to play the trade in. I'm going to summon the white zones. I wanted to banish it. I was like, all right, fine. Do it this way. Get one day a piece. It always attempts. So you always have to like, you know, check. So just so you know. And I played a one day a piece and then my turn. It's cool. I'm protected. But this is like chain burn or... I don't even know. My head kind of hurts. I'm kind of lost at this still. So, here comes the set Thunder Ruler. We got called cheaters. I think it was this one. No, it wasn't this one. It was another one. Yugi 514 had it. And we got called cheaters because he was drawing so good. You know, he's just so OP. So, see, Maiden, check this out. Maiden gets her effect. I get a blue eyes out of the graveyard to protect us. And I get the two cards, which gave me a Dark World dealing, so I can just send it and win the game. So, I at least did get to use Maiden's effect. 
I'm going first, so I'm starting with one day apiece. I'm going to play Magical Mal and those three pieces of Exodius and the Thunder. The Thunder Dragons, I'd say Thunder Ends. Um, I'm just like, keep Exodia in there. I don't want to even bring it out. And I'm just playing the Tune Table for deck thinning like a boss. And there it goes, the Blue Eyes, the Upstart, the Ancient Leaf into two. And I'm going to end. I don't want to send those Exodia pieces. Now, had the Dark World player, well, Dark World Lavalo player, played the drag down, I'd be screwed. <laughs> we probably lost the game. We probably lose the game. Look at his draw power. It's even like faster than mine. Which is kind of sad. Needs more ancient leaf though. Um so he's gonna synchro to Hyper Liberian. He's gonna summon, go to Stardust. He's gonna play another rekindling and go to another Stardust. And then he's gonna play one day apiece, ancient leaf, molten conduction field, level eater. You're gonna go into formula synchron, draw two more. And his raw power actually is faster than mine, which is pretty funny. And he's going to level eat, and that's going to be it. He's got a shooting star. So you can find him for his turn. He's going to play the final countdown. Someone's going to start singing that song, but for copyright reasons, we won't. So here comes the gold sark into the one day, into the cyber valley, and turn. That's turn one. Here comes the dark world player who's got dark world lightning. Chain Wabaku. We're protected. Chain the upstart. Play the upstart. Play the upstart. Play the drag down with a set MST, and he's going to overlay to that and pop it. And he's going to try to attack. There's no point. And my turn. Let the silliness begin. I'm going to start with Upstart Goblin, Traden, Ancient Leaf, Cards of Consuance, Dark World Dealings, and I win by the victory effect of Exodia. I went at some point to have that on this channel, and I'm glad I did as much as I hate it. So... That's it for today. I will see you tomorrow with... You ready for this? Mastering the Blue Eyes Part 3! And it's going to be about siding. And it's going to give you eight different matchups and how to side against them. I will see you tomorrow. I'm ready for the Yu-Gi-Oh! Council. If you like what we saw, make sure to subscribe for more. Peace.